Cold emails are the best way for beginners to sign their first few high ticket clients. I'm sure this is something you've heard over and over again. And maybe you've even sent a few emails yourself, but until today, you swore that cold email doesn't work for me. Well, I'm gonna change that today because I'm gonna walk you through how you can write cold email campaigns for any niche or offer. And I'm gonna show you how I've booked over a thousand appointments in the last year while consistently getting campaigns with 15 to 20 percent reply rates and dozens of six-figure deals closed in the process all with cold email and i'm going to give you four live examples of me completely rewriting email campaigns from our growth partners now the number one question i get is always what do i do if i don't have any case studies so later on i'm going to show you how you can overcome that and still sign your first paying client at at least 5,000 a month in the next few months. Who are you targeting? Just give some IT staffing companies. IT staffing and your main thing is sales opportunities? Yeah. First, the, the context of the, the niche. Is this the biggest thing you've actually found? Like, where have you got this from? Because the question here is going to make a big difference. Because if you get the pain point wrong, they're not going to read the rest of it. So how deep did you go in finding it? And is IT staffing consulting actually that, like, niche? Or can you go niche -er? Yeah, IT staffing is pretty niche. Like, there's only, like, 400 companies on LinkedIn that I was able to find. I just got this pain point from ChatGPT. I'm being honest. Okay. I would potentially say for you to do the report method rather than this, because based on the fact you've only got 400, you probably want to make the most out of those 400. And I think by going deeper into that, it will allow you to build a better offer proposition, understand the niche more. And you'll naturally sell some of them. Like Luke, I don't know if he's on here. Like he sold his first one and after having four of those calls. I think the way that you would run it would be better for you long term. This isn't a bad script. Like this is not. This gets a little bit like salesy. Mm -hmm. Is my honest feedback to it. Like even here, like how our system works. Like they don't really give a fuck about your system. They care about the outcome. I'd even be more inclined just to like literally leave that as just like mind if I share some more info. Um, this is fine, but talk about if possible, what they use it for to scale X in the last 12 months. You know, if, if you can find out the revenue increase or how many you know, new customers, anything like that to make this seem a little bit more like punchy. And then I think this part is not unique enough where I'm like, oh yeah, like this is like, I'd respond to this. Like this does come across pretty salesy. And I don't think that it's like a, that compelling of an offer. And this coming from ChatGPT, like this is okay. But if you only got 400 in there, I wouldn't risk it. And I would try and get an interview with them and then go deep on the interview. And then you'll be able to sell some of the people from the interview process you've actually gone on. And I can share a script for that in a minute. But just uh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I totally agree with what Jacob said, especially if you got 400. Just to clarify, is that 400 in one country or 400 overall? 400 in, in the US. In the US. And mm -hmm. is there any reason that you're only sticking to the US? Uh, I was just beginning with, I was just like starting with them. Um, but I'm, I'm willing, I mean, I'm, it's only also 11 to 50 company size. I can go a little bit bigger as well. So, and I can also, I, I can look on Apollo. There's, there's, there's some different ways to get out. I, I was just, when I was niching down into IT staffing, I realized that it was a pretty small TAM overall, just because of the results in sales navigator. But I mean, there's probably like a thousand to it to 12, probably like 1500, 2000 companies that I can probably target. And then within that different job titles too. So I feel I've already gotten like three book calls from this and I started running this on Tuesday. So wait, how, many did you send? how many did you send? I sent out 400 and I got three book calls. How many positive replies as well? Uh, four. And the lead list, was it specific job titles or did you mix job titles? I mixed job titles. You could actually f just fix this campaign by getting, and do you know the, the, the replies, the bookers that you have, were they with founders, marketing managers? Uh, one was the managing partner and then two were with uh, CEOs. Two with, with CEOs. So like, of course, you, you, you're definitely going to need the Jacobs method to get a better angle. Definitely go back to the discovery calls when you have them. Listen back to it. Get the pain points from the discovery call. Add it to Jack GPT and ask it to like amplify the pain points that you have. I literally do that. I find the angles myself listening to discovery calls. And then I ask ChatGPT to amplify it. 
to give me more of the same angles. And I only use angles, guys, as a base. So the, I use the angles to give me ideas from to get more angles and actually write it from human form. I don't just take chat GPT as it is. I use like context as well from discovery calls to like clarify this is what they mainly talked about. So that's like what you can do in the forefront. Like, but definitely lead list, get more targeted in the lead list, go for specific job titles. That will definitely help you increase. But like, if you already have 400, well, nearly a 1% meeting booked rate, right? in my opinion, that's okay. But if you had a bigger niche, or because you have a smaller niche, it's one of them was you may have to test with the job titles first and then go back uh, and start doing kind of like the research to find a better angle. Uh, yeah. And I, I think as well, like you can straight away, if you just go look at, the inbox and see okay well out of the four who responded positively what job title were they is there any other similarities between them if there is one you can start segmenting that you might be able to actually find more people similar to that that you may not have targeted before and why did that one not book on a call that was missed as well like they responded positively like, what was the difference that you did and then you'd be able to actually like reverse engineer it yeah yeah definitely no i've been testing a whole bunch of different like positive responses flows and trying to see what it because i also have like a a little presentation that i send over it's like a custom presentation i've been waiting to send it instead of sending it right away and then and at with him i sent it right away and i was like maybe and so i've been trying to, i've been just like calling right away like in terms of like like the first five minutes and then after they don't respond or if they do respond then i'll just send the information on over See, see, that's important thing to note, which we didn't get, like, because you're calling as well. I'd actually want to see a higher call rate with an, a niche this low. Okay. So I think, I don't think this is a bad script. Let me be clear. Like, this is something that I test. I think that there's obviously something in there. This is working. I've written you a script down here that I think a variation of this could work quite well. As well, what you could do, could you have such a small niche? is actually cold call first, try and get through to them. And then I don't know, do they have like assistance at the level that you're at, these guys? Uh, probably. So then if you get through to like a system, you could be like, um, you could say hi in the email, you could be like, assistant's name told me to reach out and put the reason for reaching out. So even if you don't get through to them, you get through to an assistant, you can use that to your advantage to get higher right there and this is because you have a small tam so the advice for a small tam is much different than if you have a wide tam and like this is the kind of stuff i would suggest doing i think something like this by the way i covered it on yesterday's call if you run a script like this you get on the call the first call is essentially a discovery call but they don't know that and it's not phrased as a discovery call you get on the call you ask the questions you go away and say okay i'm going to be putting the report together like when it's done we can jump back on and share the insights you're back on, it's just your custom plan and sales letter to actually just sell them. And at that point, most of them will just ask you straight up to pitch them because they're interested. So it's another way of doing it that is working well. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely give that a go. I was I was thinking about recycling all my old leads with the interview method. That's what I was thinking about doing too, because I have like a month worth of leads that I can just recycle using the interview method. Yeah, that's, like, that's fine. But I think like, again, I don't think it's a bad script. I don't love this part. Maybe it's just because if I've seen it so much, which if I've seen it so much, it normally means other people have, can be smarter ways to like position it. But overall, like it, it's a simple script and I can see why it works. But I think you want to still improve it. Everything just I said, everything I said here, I think you can take this from a 1% to like a 2% positive response. That booked appointment rate pretty simply. So... No, just give us some context on this. How's it been going? Are you running um, it? Working with medical device companies. <clears throat> so I've been kind of, sorry, I've been testing like different angles with either targeting the sales directors. Because some of these companies, they either preface or they haven't gone to market yet. And their, their product is, they're trying to develop it. They're trying to go through regulations. So what I've found out is most of the time I have to go after some of these bigger companies that are already established that can, and are ready to scale. So yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to target companies that are doing anywhere to a, a mil to 20 million revenue and how we can help them increase their, of course, their, their number, increase their revenue, but through outbound uh, processes and, and paid advertisements. No, how many, what's your target market size for this? What, in total in the whole world or? Wherever you're targeting. Probably, yeah, I'd say probably about 20,000. Okay, so you got a decent time. That's fine. 
Um, Josiah, I saw you had your hand up. Do you want to ask me? Yeah, I've actually run a medical campaign, <laughs> medical device campaign. It was one no of way. the ones. I've actually built like four, four or five millions. I ran it for like a week. Um, so I understand the preface and before they've gone to market. Um, so when I was running it, they wanted like special clinics or like doctors, didn't they? That was like the ideal target so they can sell their medical devices yeah. to. Like, yeah. like understand what they really want and add that in. Because like in terms of like sales necessary skills for customer acquisition, right? Do they call customer acquisition, customer acquisition in the medical devices? Because like the CEOs, they're like medical guys, they're biological, blah, 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 science. Do they call it medical and say, do they want, do I want more clinics? Do I want more doctors? Da, 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 da. And then you can fit your solution to like what your kind of like problem to solutions. Like, hey, we don't have enough clinics to sell the devices and then bridge the gap between them and clinics, what they really want, instead of seeing sales opportunities. And uh, because you got a good time, right? Like, I, I see, but I'm really like, I like what you're doing in terms of sales director. To me, the script sounds a bit more salesy to a sales director, like it seems a bit more salesy. So if I would like humanize it a bit more and then really dive into like, of course, their problems. Are they hitting quota for like a sales director? Are they speaking to enough clinics? I uh, do have a product that's already like a good fit for all the clinics and stopping them. And then the reason I'm asking is because we actually help yeah. the devices companies. Da, 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 da. And then is there any case studies as well? You said so at 345 uh, in the pipeline for Aspen. Yeah. So what, what's actually in the pipeline? What type of clinics are they like? Is that like a high tech clinic? That yeah. Use? So, yeah. So with this company I'm working with, um, they do about 15 million rev in revenue a year. Um, their products work like for, for, it's like a laser, um, laser class four laser equipment, and they sell to like all types of doctors, to like chiropractors, physios. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get... what do they call them? Like, what do they call them? Doctors, like, like when you jump on a client check-in calls, one more, are you closing what? Like, do they say doctors, clinics, hospitals? Like, who's who do they really want, and who do they make the most money on? Doctors, so chiropractors mainly. Chiropractors, so yeah. It's just to make it's it not just chiropractors though it's chiropractors uh mds physical therapists but their main main people they sell to is chiropractors perfect so i'll be a going back down to the targeting finding like sim perhaps use ocean AI, find similar companies that sells like like to chiropractors like mm -hmm. medical devices and then you can literally just put in as a pain point how are you guys managing to sign more chiropractors or like skill your chiropractor pipeline. The reason I'm asking is because we help founders uh, in medical device niche or medical clinic um, chiropractor device niche sign more or three to five clinics or chiropractors by implementing da 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 da. We recently helped blah, 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 mining for send more info. Could be as simple as that. Yeah. yeah, I think the mistake I'm doing is um, I'm going too broad and the medical device industry or it's, it's so like, there's there's one company that's selling uh, surgical equipment and there's another company selling uh, something else. So and what I've realized is a lot of these CEOs, founders, they're more product focused. They're not, they don't really heavily focus on sales. And I'm coming from an angle. Do you want to make more money or not? Um, and it's not really working. So I need to probably uh, tweak my language and, and kind of focus on the, exactly what they want. This goes for everyone is that you have to have the context. This is why I haven't just like given tons of templates for you guys just to copy yet, because most people just blindly copy rather than having the context of who you're targeting. So what Josiah just did there is like, okay, well, you got 20,000 people. Why don't you just break that down to a smaller list, get more targeted and actually talk their language and actually what they want rather than putting it down. Cause like, this is just a generic cold email that most people would write and that's why you're going to get generic results but what we want to get you is you want to make you rich i think mo you should be using something like this more than anything else right now and you should be making it more specific to them and to the people you're actually targeting this goes for everyone like it's not just mo like everything you've got there this is your niche go there go one level deeper and if you can go two level deeper that's where the real money is made. We're getting like a five plus percent positive response rate at the moment on campaigns because we're focusing on sub niches, like hyper targeted campaigns. So, you know, if you target a specific segment, like just I say, where it's like to chiropractors, figure out the biggest pain points for those specific medical device companies and test just the pain points and use your offer in there. The reason I'm asking is we help the sales directors or wherever it is at medical device companies in London. But to to offer in time frame 
we just helped this company do this. Do you mind if I just share some more info on how we do it? That will print. You just have to find the right pain point. And then you can build as many campaigns around that one pain point as you need. And even if you want to go like less salesy, what I've been doing now is that I've actually been moving the offer. And if you've got a good case study, like what you have, I'll just implement it into the case study. Uh, the reason I wanted to reach out is because we just helped do, 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 and like go a bit specific in what you actually helped them do. Like we helped them sign three or four chiropractors or get in touch with the chiropractors. In result, that led to 400 in the pipeline. Mind if I share how we do that? That's been working so well, especially in, in the e com niche, because they're used to getting sold to. But when you actually have a case study where they actually see the value and they're like, okay, this, I know this company relevant because I'm doing target sub niches. They're going to be like, how are you going to, how are you doing that? Like, can you send more info about that? And then get them for a call. So, so that could be like, if you, of course, test which one, but I've, for me, I've, I've seen like the case study when you have a really good one can really like be the offer at the same time. Like you can. One step ahead of you, Josiah. You've yeah. got this template is a variation of what Josiah said. You can change and adapt it, guys. Like don't just copy this verbatim and not adapt it. But like, it's the same, like if you, same structure and everything, like the, the structure's in cold email is fairly standard and it repeats time and time again. It's just how you phrase it in a way that doesn't come across salesy. And that's why, and Sandra, to the last one, why I didn't particularly love yours is it just comes across salesy. And that would have worked two years ago. It would have been fine. But the market's moved on and you need to adapt with it as well. No, with that, three scripts there that you can run. I think... Do you, do you, just, do you also think, because uh, I've worked with, I still have like a lot of clinics where we do work with chiropractors. Would, would you say maybe use that as well? Or the case studies that specifically work with chiropractors? No, not the case studies, but just in like, maybe mentioning that we know exactly what their yeah, behavior is. Or... Yeah, more relevancy, of course. Anything that can increase relevancy, increase the status of you will get more likely that they're actually going to respond. You could even put the end. P.S. We also help this company, this company, and this company. Send another script in, guys. Gary, go ahead. Need more donations. Yeah, so uh, I'm from, uh, I just joined yesterday, by the way. Nice to be here. Basically, I run a software, like web company, doing most of like branding, um, trying to transition into doing, you know, a more niche down model. This is my first session here. Ideally, we have a lot of clients in the political space. Politicians need donations. Advocacy groups need donations as well. My idea is to essentially try to get more donations for these political campaigns as well as advocacy groups. With that said, I'm scraping some data from Apollo and um, through like open government APIs. And then I have a pre-recorded video where like I would run their uh, run their site through Google Lighthouse. And it tells me like stats on SEO performance, et cetera. And I could generate that. I can write, basically make like custom videos that look like they're custom with their site embedded in the background of the Zoom and send it to them. And I could do that like a thousand of them within like five minutes um, with this like script I wrote. So I was planning on like using that to get that initial call or, you know, asking the question and then having that be that, that next step. But again, I'm like, I haven't sent this to anyone pretty new. So, yeah. So firstly, like the offer, like the niche, I think the you will print with that if you play it right. I can see Josiah thinking, no, I wish I had something like that. Bro, if I was running this campaign, this is like free money if you get it right. Yeah. It's like money, I'm yeah. telling you. So the subject line, need more don donations. Yeah, you could even reduce and just put the donations question mark. They're just super simple. But I think like from a, that's good. I wouldn't necessarily put personalized statements unless you can get super personalized through AI. Like I find it's pretty pointless. I think the video idea stuff is good, but I think the the scripts we could write, like I could write 10,000 scripts for this offer and, and make it like, because it's such an easy offer. There's so many ways to write it. Have you got case studies and evidence of this, of that you're doing this? We've built sites for political campaigns. We've built sites for political advocacy groups, multiple, probably about six or seven total. We haven't had the opportunity to try to increase donations on those. Ideally, you know, standing up a site and building a new site is but you have going to give those brands. Yeah, but we have worked with them a lot. And I think if we were so to get I'd, one under our belt, we would probably crush it. I'd be name dropping that for extra status. 
we help many political organizations like XXXNX. Interested in hearing how we can help you increase donations in the next 28 days. Okay. Inter- like, I think there's, there's so many ways to word this. I could give you so many different templates and run it. I think and unless you have a way to do the personalization, I think that it's not relevant enough. So it's a good offer, which is why it would work. But this isn't actually specific and relevant enough to really print. And you can make a lot more you could get a lot better results if we increase relevancy and increase the trust that they have in you by one increase in relevancy but two also using the brands that you're already associated with is my feedback J- just jump in yeah i've got one so political organization right they're in different countries so i'll get really specific with the country first and then you can use that as kind of like especially in the script and then have a case study relevant to that country just in case you work with a political organization just in the us or just in a state that'd be really good. And you can do that off Apollo to get really not, like narrative, but like targeted. Secondly, I'll be speaking to all your seven clients and I'll be like, from this site, how many donations did you make from this site? Because you don't have to say that you helped them make donation, like physically put the, in the money, but you could say we assisted them in their donation plan, in the donation campaign. And as a result, they generated X, Y, Z. So I'll be definitely hitting that. And then talking to your clients right now, like before you even launch the campaign is probably the highest ROI and just be like, like any questions, if you watch Jacob's uh, kind of like mastermind uh, uh, video about like, what's their pain points? Like, what did they hate? What did they not like doing? And really like try to understand your seven clients. You could literally have like angles for days. And then when you get really like targeted within, with a niche and get like relevant in terms of the case study, like this will print, like literally. This is still quite surface level is my feedback. I think you... Obviously, you second day, and I'm gonna give it, give you some slack. But I think that you can take this and like you can just print with it. But you need to go deeper into why you're reaching out to people, why they should trust you, and be specific. Because political organizations is super broad. Yeah, and they're also extremely discerning in terms of their taste and yeah, to be and like, who do you, who are you even reaching out to in the organization? So like you. Uh person within this type of political party from this country to do this and here's the evidence of us doing it that's all you need to do and you can write a million different ways but that's pretty much it yeah mostly we interface with the marketing director or marketing manager i would never know that from here okay and And like how incentivized are the marketing guys by getting more donations what why haven't they got all the donations they need and this is going back to the size point around you need to understand their pain points and then make that happen because this is it may work because it's just so basic it's unbelievable and sometimes the weirdest things work but i think by increasing relevancy you will get probably three or four times the amount of results would you send the video straight up or ask a question i'd never never send a video straight up ask for permission i probably wouldn't say two minute video on our process it'd be more like i made a two minute video on how we can help you do why because it's all about the outcome to them they don't really care about who you are at this point right okay i'd like to also say especially for like your niche like political i'm thinking boris johnson in my head like how do they talk and like understanding the language is like is it being more professional gonna work less being less professional it will yeah talking to political people there's um there's a there's a script that we've done that will work for political parties and i'll send that over not okay. as I haven't used it for political, it's more for sophisticated buyers who are have a stick up their ass and need a different way, different language. Okay. Again, everything is context. Okay. Thanks so much. We've got time for one more, guys. Who Paddy? Let's do it. Yeah, I just read that there now. <laughs> you just read uh, it now. Yeah, I'm only on this part of the I only sort of my value proposition there now. Um yesterday. So I have a couple of questions. So I literally just fired that together, but I want to sort of include that something that's working well for me right now is I've been just been doing pretty much I had a connection in the e-commerce side of things and he's doing creatives for brands and he's mentioned the three of them about a website audit and I've sent a full in-depth like audit about 15 minutes just grilling their website and all three of them have closed so I mean that's probably a, a bit of a clue as to what would work anyways but I haven't run any of this. I literally haven't sent any out. I have in the past, but I yeah. haven't put near it in a while. So, so sorry. Did you just say you were running a website audit for you? Or for you. Sorry. So yeah, my my offer is like we do CRO for 
organic skincare supplement brands except like i'm going to go like sub niche good and them i have like a couple of the sub niches written out but um it's more just how they structure this as like it's it's a tough it's a tough one to crack for e-commerce brands i'm gonna pass over to the e-com man himself <laughs> that's why i sent it in because i knew you were going over it together so i've, I've, uh, literally, I've literally run a campaign uh for for, e- for like i'm running three campaigns for cosmetics uh, I do have a case study that like a like a discovery call I can send you to get it. Now yeah, okay. struggling uh, average order value for your customers and conversion conversion rate for your website. Now this can work. They do have this problem. I know that they do have this problem, but it's like, do you have a case study by any chance? Um, no, like there I will in a couple of weeks. Basically, have to A B test the new versus the old, but pretty much like I've got like replies and stuff from them basically saying like they may as well say holy fuck this is class like to their new website but I haven't got actual like figures okay but you can name drop right yeah yeah they're small though that's the problem okay like, I want to be going for the bigger clients because that's essentially why I joined at the end of the day yeah, yeah that's more okay no worries um for what you have now we sub niche brand achieved 20 we've been using revenue instead of 20 percent so revenue has yeah. been working way more than percentages. We've tested 20%. It doesn't work as much from websites conversion and then added at least 20,000 in ARI in three have months. Have you said, what about ARR versus MRR? What, like, have you found any difference between that? M- uh, M- M- MRR. Is yeah. More way. Uh, we've been using also performance. So if you add a performance, like at the bottom, PS, we work on a performance like basis too. Or you could be actually, what, what, we're, what I'm testing right now is I'm not really going to say it's too much, but it's like using that problem. And then instead of writing like a case study, it like it like an offer is around how you would solve that specific problem in that specific niche, like how you solve Because if you don't have case study, like your value has to be in there. So you need to understand when you're doing e-com owners, right? Like you're, you're not having a case study is definitely going to drop your convert, like your reply rate. And that's just me being honest from like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. if you add like how you literally like can do this for especially like a brand and then add in, Yes, can I share more information? Or would you open to discuss this further? That would be really like that would work a hundred percent. But with this, you you got you, you got all right. I would definitely like trim it down a bit and just be like, we help skincare supplement brands add an extra, like, and especially if you're going to like skincare brands that are already doing a million, like add an extra 200 k is not even as much. Like for yeah. our clients, that add an extra 300 to 400 k a month. So that's the offer that we're doing. It's like, and what we found in e-com, the higher the offer that you make the higher brands are going to come to you because like if they're spending 100k a month in in ads which is normal why like add an extra 20k to them is nothing yeah so higher in terms of the claim like you could also run the website order as an angle rather than trying to talk about this and i think yeah. that might work better without a case study second thing is like segment your list by revenue if possible if you can't find a way to do it by revenue do it by company size because what just I was just talking about there is like again it's just relevancy like if you go for big numbers you attract bigger brands because that's where they're at so like just segment it into different categories and then talk about the revenue at different levels so if you're doing for like 10 million plus say okay well we'll increase your revenue by 300,000 a month if you're a million we'll increase your revenue by 30,000 a month yeah so like if yeah that's sort of why I, I only have one email there as well because I think I could just pull this many ways like as you say segment it into bigger companies then change the MRR to obviously bigger numbers for you I think you haven't got the case study so don't use it I would probably separate the we partner with sub niche organic skincare companies and run the case study angle I mentioned in terms of like yeah. well just I mentioned I put the script there I can send it to you as well we partner with um we helped x a sub niche organic skincare company increase revenue by x amount I was hoping was like wondering if you want a free website order to break down how we do something similar to you or some things I noticed or even a different way of approaching it the intro line if you're going to do the website is right hey notice a couple of things on your website that I think could be costing you 200,000 a month you know mind yeah. if I just record a video breaking down exactly what I'm seeing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no problem good stuff no any other questions no I don't think so I like that angle you just said there now because it's probably like that, you'll probably get a higher response rate at that, even if you don't. And I do want to say, please look at your lead list, like organic skincare supplement brands. Yeah. Like, are they skincare brands or supplement brands that have a skincare line? Like, really be targeted on your niche and like go over your lead list 
and make sure you're targeting the right people. Because like, if I was a supplement owner and I have loads of supplements and I'm thinking that, I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm a supplement owner. I'm not a skincare organic supplement owner. Yeah. I'm a skincare brand, but like, like if you use stuff like store leads or like brand nav, sometimes you can't get as detailed on that. So I'll definitely re, like re go through the list and just make sure I'm targeting the right people because mm -hmm. that's what literally the relevancy is. And, and having that quality assurance before you launch a campaign could be the difference between you having a good campaign and you burning that list. Like just be really careful on that. Yeah, no, because I think it's niche enough as it is. So it shouldn't, I doubt it's going to be that much, that big of a list. What do you find best for getting them sort of contacts? Do you think store leads is best or? Yeah, I've been using store leads. It has the revenue thing that, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that straight line mentioned. Store leads, yeah. is, brand nav, if you're trying to be on a budget, you can use brand nav. You can get like an AppSumo deal and then use that. Is this useful, guys, ripping apart scripts like this? Everyone got ideas. I expect all of you to go write at least five more scripts. Remember, one every single day. I'll give you the weekend off if you don't like money as much as me and Josiah do. But, it, you know, so next week, we'll either jump into it or and do more of these or I'll continue based on the content as well. So, guys, go make some fucking money. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.